Has Matthew Vaughn created yet another film franchise with his latest movie, Argyle? And who is the mystery novelist behind this $200 million franchise? Welcome to Movie World Plus, the place where we talk movies. I'm Andy Signor, and I'm here to review Argyle, the latest from Matthew Vaughn, who I'm a massive fan of. I love X-Men First Class, I love Kick-Ass, I love Kingsman. I enjoyed Kingsman 2. I didn't love The Kingsman, but I was excited about the idea of a new franchise. And Argyle, which I'm going to review in a minute, and I'm going to give you a little backstory, is based on a book that literally just came out, but this film is based on part four of the books, which is yet to materialize. Uh, and there is now a huge mystery surrounding this random book and its mystery author who has this fake online presence with many suspecting that it could even be superstar Taylor Swift who has written the book. Now, Vox did a very good breakdown explaining who the author is, all that. I'm going to get to this if you want to have that information, uh, but I'll share that in the second half of this video. I want to get to my review of the film, uh, which stars Henry Cavill as a secret agent. However, you should all be prepared because while Henry Cavill and his weird hairdo uh, is definitely the Argyle super spy, the film actually centers around the author, Ellie Conway. Yes, Ellie Conway, the mystery author who wrote the book, is played by Bryce Dallas Howard as a writer whose spy novels end up being so accurate that uh, people come after her trying to figure out if she knows where certain things are, etc. cetera. Uh, that is actually the premise of this book. She's a successful book writer and her Argyle book series is so popular. The bad guys, the good guys, all are starting to track her down because her latest book gets a little too uh, on the nose as to what's happening. Now, this film, I will say, is very silly at times. At the same time, I will acknowledge very clever and addressed some of my silliness by the film's end. It does have some fun twists and turns. Um, it is a it is a fun movie overall. And I got to say, though, the film is selling it on this Henry Cavill piece. The film really centers around Bryce Dallas Howard. But I would argue the standout, the scene stealer, without a doubt, is Mr. Sam Rockwell. He came to have fun. He, every time he's on screen, the audience that I was, was, was roaring with laughter. He's so likable in this. He is the standout by far. Uh, surprise with the whole cast and not surprised. I love Sam Rockwell, but with this whole cast is, it is, is something to be prepared for. I don't think the trailers and the marketing are going off of the strength of Sam Rockwell, but I implore you, you will love him. You'll have a blast with him and the whole cast, him, him and Bryce Dallas Howard's sort of adventure within the adventure is what is this, what this film is ultimately about. We're seeing uh, versions of the story that Ellie is writing or visualizing with Argyle as Henry Cavill and John Cena and all these other people. But the scene keeps cutting back to Sam Rockwell, who is the actual sort of agent in real life, uh, who is a who she is sort of seeing. And they do these Matthew Vaughn. The film's a little slow at the start. I'm going to be honest. It's a little like feels like a streaming movie. And then there's a scene on the train where Sam Rockwell shows up and he's just a lightning rod in this movie. And Matthew Vaughn kicks into this amazing action sequence where Ellie's realizing that there's actually a real life spies. And as she's watching Sam Rockwell do all this action, it cuts and she's seeing him as Henry Cavill and he's so like slick. And then Sam Rockwell's not as slick. It's a really hard to explain, but it's a really well done sequence uh, that again, uses Matthew Vaughn's strengths of acting, of action directing, uh, and Sam Rockwell. So fun to see him in this part, uh, as a spy and then intercutting with Henry Cavill, doing it even more suave. It's a very clever piece that then continues throughout her style of, of, uh, of filmmaking that Vaughn uses that definitely keeps the energy upbeat, fun. He said the whole idea of this book for him and when he read the book or the manuscript and when he gets to sort of where all this came from was he's like, he loved the idea of what if JK Rowling had met a real life wizard and realized it was all, it was all real. That was sort of the premise that he loved about this idea. And that's really what this film is. It's a very meta spy thriller. Um, it's different than what we've seen. It has its moments of fun, but it's definitely aimed at more of a crime novelist approach where literally the author is in there with you going through this adventure, trying to figure out the clues mixed with high acting action, et cetera. And overall, look, I, I think there were maybe at times they were trying to do too many twists. Uh, there were, like I said, there were a couple slow parts in the beginning overall though. I might've trimmed the length of this film. It, I don't even know how long it actually was. It felt a little long, but overall I will say I had a good time with this film and I, I credit 
Honestly, Sam Rockwell, Matthew Vaughn, and I got to give a shout out also. Uh, Catherine O'Hara, I love her. She plays the mom. Very fun part. Um, and uh, yeah, if we're all, a lot of these people are in it for just, it's not a, it's a sprawling cast, but not everybody's in it hugely. Uh, and uh, I, the, the stars of this movie are the ones in the, these more further positions. Sam Rockwell and Bryce Dallas Howard are the stars with Henry Cavill in throughout as sort of the visual, visual visualization of Bryce's character, Argyle. Uh, but who is Argyle in real life? Is there an Argyle? In What's actually happening? All of that will unfold for you in the movie. And I, I got to say, overall, I had a good time. I think audiences will. Is this a franchise? I don't know. My my friend who I saw it with, he was like, he was having trouble seeing Bryce Dallas Howard in this action-y sort of role because she has to step up at certain points to do it. I didn't have that problem. Um, but, you know, Bryce Dallas Howard, Sam Rockwell isn't what you'd think would be the leads of your spy thriller, honestly. No disrespect to them. Typically, we want we expect the Henry Cavill types to do it. Uh, overall, it didn't. I, I think it was that's the appeal of this. It's like everyday sort of approach of people that are out there doing this. And uh, it didn't bother me. It's definitely like a wish fulfillment type of feel. Uh, and uh, I liked Bryce Dallas Howard. I'm, I'm a fan of her. I like her. I've liked her directing. I like her acting. Um, I'm a fan of her. Uh, the two of them do have, uh, you know, some fun together and I just, I do, I, will it work in a sequel is where I'm a little stuck. I don't know how, like, while I had fun, I don't know how quick I'd want to go back to this world. I don't, I don't know. I feel like they delivered so much that it's like, all right, cool. I had fun. Um, that said, I mean, I, honestly, Kick-Ass 2, Kingsman 2, The Kingsman, the sequels to Matthew Vaughn's films, never really as good as the original. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this does enough that they try to do a second one, especially since Apple threw $200 million at this movie. And that's really what I want to talk about next. They spent $200 million on this movie based on a book that hadn't come out yet. Now, I've read and done some research on this, and Matthew Vaughn was reading transcripts of the book. And uh, again, El Ellie Conway is the author. It seems very clear this is a marketing trick and someone else wrote this book and there is no actual Ellie Conway. They're trying to make it seem more meta for the movie. And it does seem clear that that was our overall his idea. And as Vox sort of did the, the homework, Taylor Swift, I don't believe for a second wrote this book. I just don't think she has the time. Uh, someone wrote it as sort of in the Taylor Swift aesthetic, I, I think. But they actually, uh, due, due to some reporting here, uh, it turns out, they figured out who the author is and in deducing as they did it. And I realized it, it, it does seem clear that uh, Washington post writer did the legwork, but uh, the author Ellie Conway thanks Robert Massey, a British, a British astronomer in uh, the book. When they called up him, he said he talked to a novelist for a spy thriller, but her name wasn't Ellie Conway. It was Tammy Cohen. Tammy Cohen is a spy thriller writer who has written books, uh, She Was Bad, They All Fall Down. And so uh, it does seem like, and I will say, I, it feels like Matthew Vaughn had this idea. He wanted to create a new IP, and kudos, kudos. Sorry, spoiling the magic for you. He's like, I want to do this sort of meta spy thriller. I got this great idea. He's clearly written it with other people involved, who knows, and then decided, well, let's make this based on a whole book series, and we're going to go and start with four, but that way we can release one through three. And then it feels like we're creating this, we're adapting this popular new IP, which then we can have. But, and again, the other reason I feel that way is because the book is imprinted on his Marv uh, book print. And so uh, it does seem like this is all a very thought out approach in today's bl blockbuster economy that you got to have an IP. So what did he went and go and do? He created his own IP. Well, it's a book series. It's coming out. I read it early. It's awesome. And we're doing book four of one Apple. And here's what it is. It's kind of brilliant of Matthew Vaughn. And then he seems to seem to have employed. And again, this is the theory now that I think is more likely hired this, uh, you know, decent, uh, you know, author. Uh, what was her name? Tammy Cohen, who had written, uh, you know, British thrillers before and basically, is, hey, ghost write this book for us, which she then did. 
And now that book is out and they can sell that and they can make some money if this does well as a ghostwriter. That seems to be what's happening here. The book is doing uh, meh. I've, there's definitely some bad reviews on it as well, saying it's very generic, the book itself. It doesn't have the meta appeal. I'm told that the, the book itself is a straight laced spy thriller, whereas the film is far more meta uh, as these two characters, you know, go through it. So uh, yeah, it, it's interesting. It's a very interesting approach that he did. And uh, overall, yeah, I mean, the, the Taylor Swift stuff has helped garner a lot more attention for the book as well and the movie. But I'll be very intrigued to see how well this actually performs and will audiences want to come back for more. Overall, it was fun. I, I, I really did have fun with this movie. I laughed several times. Sam Rockwell is so much fun. And there are some twists I didn't see coming. And overall, I, yeah, I would say Matthew Vaughn delivered. Um, and I think overall, I'm, I'm kind of impressed at the, the deep uh, sort of trick, spy trick, if you will, of what he's doing by creating this sort of fake book that's not a fake book, it's real. There are now books that I, I it feels like he must have had his hand in or had access to early on to say, great, let's do this. Let's spin a film franchise and a book franchise, which Apple took the bite and said, great. And they paid $200 million apparently for this movie. Now it's unclear if it's, I mean, it's for one, but for the book rights, or the movie, just one movie itself, we'll see. But they are all hoping this is a new big film franchise. And again, like I said, not opposed to trying another one, but just like Kick-Ass 2 and Kingsman 2, I feel like neither of them were as needed, to be honest. It was more just, I go see those films for Matthew Vaughn's like style and action because I like him as a director. Then did we need the story to continue? Not really. I would say Kingsman's still the best one. Um, but... Could all these worlds collide? Who knows? Stay tuned. Watch the movie if you think. And uh, props to the cast. It, it's, it's a fun time. I would definitely give it a recommendation. What do you think? Do you believe that author theory? Have you even heard about this film? Did you hear about all the Taylor Swift connections and so on? I want to hear what your thoughts, expectations for this movie are. And then when you check it out, come back and leave us your thoughts. Appreciate you guys so much for watching here on my Movie World channel. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. The bell for all alerts as well. Smash that thumbs up. And let us know your thoughts on Argyle, Matthew Vaughn, and everything else. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more movie content here on Movie World Plus.